So one of the biggest gifts Allah has given us, Allah has given each one of us, is choice, the ability to decide, the ability to choose which route you take, the ability to choose what action to do, what steps to make, the ability to relate to things, how to understand the world around you, how to understand yourself, how to understand people around you, how to understand events that take place. All of this is a matter of decision. You're making decisions at every single moment of your life. But most of us, most of us have given up this gift and we let the society choose for us. We let our culture choose for us. We let sometimes our friends and peers choose for us. We let our teachers choose for us. We let our parents chose for, choose for us. We let the TV choose for us. We let our politicians choose for us. But on the day of judgment, you will deal with the consequences of all those choices. Whether you made them or let someone else take them for you. You will face the consequences on the day of judgment. You will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Alone. The woman passing down the street that you looked at and you kept staring at will be brought to you live, you could see it. The moment you were alone and did something wrong, the moment you took some haram money that doesn't belong to you, the moment you dealt with riba, the moment you were backbiting some, some, someone or slandering someone, that moment, just before that moment, you had the ability to make a decision, either to engage in a sin or give it up and leave it. But you made the wrong decision and it will come to you that moment. It will be placed and it will be manifested in front of your eyes. When you're standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will ask you about it. The moment the Adhan was called, you know it's time for the prayer. And you didn't pray because you were engaged, you were engaged with something else. Anything, any of these, these worldly matters, it will be brought to you and you will regret the decisions you made. When you listen to the whispers of shaitan, when you listen to the advice and the social evidence of your friends, of your family, of your culture, and you just flew with the tide, that moment will be brought to you and you will be asked about it and you will feel so much pain about it. The first moment of pain you'll start to feel is the moment the angels come to you and start dragging your soul out of your body.